Hey guys, my name is Becca. Um, I want to teach you a song that has three chords. Really, really easy. It's called Father I Adore You. I'm going to play it really quick uh, to give you an idea of what I'm playing. I'm pretty sure you've heard it before. If you clicked on this, you were probably looking for this song. Um, this is a tutorial, so if you have any questions, just message me on YouTube. And yeah, I'll answer your question. Alright, here's Father I Adore You. It has three more verses, and you can pretty much put anything in order the way you want it. Um, the three other verses are just Jesus, I adore you, Spirit, I adore you, and three and one, I adore you. So it's the difference is just the way that you're introducing adoring God. <laughs> um, the three chords that you play for this song are D. And D is fairly easy. It's your index finger on the third string, second fret, ring finger on second string, third fret, and middle finger on the first string, second fret. So it looks like that. First string, second fret, middle finger, your index finger, third fret. 3rd string, 2nd fret, and then ring finger, 2nd string, 3rd fret. Looks like that. And it sounds like that. So if that's what you just said, that's what it should sound like. The second chord that you're learning is E minor and only needs two fingers. It's really, really easy. Um, it's just 5th string, 2nd fret, index finger on this string, 2nd fret, and then your 2nd finger, which is your middle finger, goes on 4th string, 2nd fret. So 5th string, 2nd fret is your index finger, and 4th string, 2nd fret is your middle finger. And I wish I had a different name for the middle finger, but I don't, I'm sorry. Um, and that sounds like that. Pretty cool. I like that chord. The next chord you play, the last chord you play, is A7. And you're going to do pretty much the same thing. You're going to put your index finger on 4th string, 2nd fret, and your middle finger on 2nd string, 2nd fret. Sounds like this. I'm sorry, let me play that again. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't keep my fingers down. Um, your strumming is, you strum down once, and then you strum down again, and then back up. So it's down, down, up. So it's one, one, two, down, down, up. And then you go up, down, up. So one, one, two is down, down, up. And then three, four, five, or down, down, up, up, down, up. So it goes down, down, up, up, down, up. So it sounds it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So it's one, one, two, one, two, three is what I was trying to say before. So, down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're just, when you're playing the guitar and you're strumming, if you've ever played before, which you probably have, um, you're basically skipping. So if you're going down, down, up, you're skipping that, that up after the first one. If that makes sense to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not explaining myself as well as I should. Just down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, 
down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. <laughs> if you say that, if you keep saying that while you're playing, it gets in your head really, really quick. So I, I'm pretty sure that's four, four times. I could be wrong, but I don't play sheet music. I only play four, four, and three, four times. So sorry if that's if I'm not sure which one that is, but I I usually look up a song, look it up on YouTube, and then play it, and whichever one works. That's which one I play. So here is um, Father, I adore you. I'm gonna show it on paper so that you know when to change your chords. And if you want to, you can just and let's see, there we go. There it is. <laughs> and if you notice, it shows you exactly where you should change the chords. Sorry, this is kind of hard doing this on the computer. I'll try to get it close so you can see it. Um, like right here, Father. It goes, Father, I adore you. Um, D, E minor, D, E minor, A7, D, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that's how you change it. And if you if you sing the chords like you would sing the words like I just did, um, it helps you learn how to change the chords. It's really easy. It comes really naturally. It'll come a lot more naturally than you think. So, and if you've ever played the guitar, I'm sorry that I'm explaining it like this, but that's just how I learn. So, I'm gonna play it one more time for you as I leave. Happy playing. Oh, and one more thing. I play the intro. I play D, E minor, A7, and then D twice before I play the song. So.